Liberty Hit. This is Dave Scherter. I want to point out that when I first tried to get my parents investigated, it did not start off with the book. It didn't start off with the blog. It didn't start off with interviews. I wasn't trying to get any attention. How it started off was that I went to the Nebraska State Patrol and uh, met with the cold case detective, Pankinen and demanded that he take my DNA. The reason why I did is because there's a case of an abducted and murdered child boy by the name of Ricky Chaddick in Omaha, Nebraska. And there was DNA left on Ricky Chaddick. Um, reports said <clears throat> that he was abducted by a man and a woman in a car. And uh, there are um, there's a white Oldsmobile that is spoken about, um, also in the Johnny Gosh case. And my parents had a white Oldsmobile. And so I went to the Omaha police. I went and had them and demanded that uh, Pankinen take my DNA. And I was trying to get this investigated. I did what you're supposed to do. I went to the police. I got nowhere. Um, I, I, in fact, I got attacked, um, at the, at one point in time, I realized that the police were not going to help me probably because in the eighties with all of this going on, Robert Wadman was chief of police and he was, um, called out specifically with Alicia Owen being involved with all of this. And so I started getting attacked by the police who were defending my stepmother at the time because my dad was dead. And so they were defending my stepmother at the time. And so then I did a book and I started a blog trying to get the information out so that people could actually read what I was saying. As I've said before, you can listen to my interviews, not the, the ones that are doctored by the anonymous group of trolls who are attacking me, but actually listen to what I've said in interviews. And uh, I never contradict myself. I just keep saying the same things over and over and over again. And I've been at this for 16 years. Um, I, I just keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. And I uh, had people say, oh, well, you know, I, I have... People out there are saying, oh, well, Schurter is just trying to be a professional victim. If that's true, then why don't I talk about any of the specific abuse that I went through in my book? I never talked about my abuse. It wasn't about my abuse. I didn't get involved with this because I was abused. I got involved with this because there were children who were murdered. There are specific reasons why in my book, Rabbit Hole, the Satanic Ritual Survivors, Abuse Survivor. Or, rabbit hole, uh, um, ritual abuse survivor story. Um, I didn't get into my specifics of my abuse because I felt that that element would attract the wrong kind of people. If you want to read nasty situations in detail, I suggest you go pick up a Stephen King book, but none of this has ever been about my abuse. It has been about the children who were murdered, abducted and murdered by my parents that I wanted to get investigated. That's how it started. Um, that's, that's, and that's what's fueled me through this whole thing. If it had been my abuse, I would have just left it alone. You know, it, it's over. It's, it's years ago. And why bother? I couldn't do anything about it. Both of my parents are dead, but they are connected to a bigger, larger part. I also have said repeatedly that I find it interesting that Jacob Wetterling, a cold case of 28 years that they couldn't solve, was solved less than two weeks after my interview on the John B. Wells show. They had a perp, a confession, and a body. Period. They, they, all of a sudden, it was completely solved. Less than two weeks later. But I will tell you, and I've said this repeatedly, I said it on the interview on John B. Wells. I called the Jacob Wetterling Foundation years ago, and on the conversa with the conversation that I had, I told a woman, let me guess, Jacob Wetterling was abducted by a man who was driving a big blue utility truck. She got very quiet on the phone, 
then confirmed what I said was true, and then asked me how I knew about that because it had never been released to the media. Well, of course I knew because my dad was a Northern Propane gas manager. He worked at a plant in Grettinger, Iowa, all by himself. There was no one else that worked there. It was just him. And so all of this situation, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to get my parents investigated. As much as these idiots want to make it all about me, it has never in my mind been about me. I'm not doing this because of me. I'm doing this because I want this stopped because I know that children are still being abducted. I find it outrageous that this, these 1,500 kids that have disappeared through this whole immigration fiasco now are being blamed on immigrants. Oh, it's illegal immigrants. Well, how do you explain the 80 thousand plus kids that the CPS has lost were those immigrants too and this was before Trump and so this has been going on for a while Omaha obviously was way before Trump and so I'm trying to help kids get invest or to get some justice because there are some serious things going on and people just want to look the other way I understand we are under such a barrage of BS in our media, in our political system, that nobody knows what to do. Nobody knows what to say, how to react at all. But these are kids and they need to be protected. They are the least, they're the most vulnerable in our society. And uh, if you read what Jesus Christ had to say, it, they're God's favorite. You know, God's favorites are not Christians or Jews or Muslims or Buddhists. Their children. And so I'm trying to follow my faith and actually try and do what I can. I did the book because the police wouldn't help me. I did the blog because the police wouldn't help me. I've done myriads of interviews and never once have I contradicted myself. Never once have I changed my story. I just keep saying the same things over and over and over again. And again, this all began because I went to the Nebraska State Patrol, went to John Pankinen, who was the cold case dude, and forced him, and I had to force him, to take my DNA to compare it to Ricky Chaddock and other cold cases because I figured if my dad and my brother were involved with it, that my DNA would trigger, it would flag something because it would be similar. And that's how this all started. I went to the police first. I got zero help. And so I had to go and do more. And I've done more and done more and done more. And the only thing that I have accomplished as far as I can see is that I have an army of trolls who attack me. They break into my house. They poison my dogs. And they laugh about it. They laugh about it online. I get emails with them laughing about it. And again, the police don't help. You know, they, they don't help. And so that's how this all started is because I went and tried to get my parents busted for Ricky Chaddick. They were taking kids up to our um, place in Silver Lake, Minnesota. That's where a lot of the child trafficking was happening with my dad. That's where a lot of kids just disappeared. I mean, they'd be there when I went to bed at night and when I woke up in the morning, they were gone. And I'd be told, oh, well, their parents came and got them over and over and over, you know? And so... This whole situation, I'm just trying to get justice for a bunch of kids. And uh, I went to the police. I did what you were supposed, what we're all supposed to do when you have um, knowledge of crimes. And I got nowhere, you know, I got nowhere. So what else was I supposed to do? Just go away? You know, I couldn't do that. I just couldn't do that. I, I couldn't find it in my heart to do that. And these idiots who are out there, Doug Mesner, a.k.a. John Kilrush, a.k.a. Satanic founder Lucian Greaves and all of his friends um, who have videos out there, um, they're trying to make it all about me. But in the, it was never about me. It's never been about me, you know? And uh, my life now is trying to just survive in my own house, do artwork, I hang out with people, that friends, and... Uh, and I, I'm trying to live a simple life. 
but that's my video for the day.